with a process video for UK scrap addicts using our theme this month of paper folding. Now I have to admit I haven't done any paper folding really before um, so this was a bit of a new technique to me as well. So I chose quite a simple design and I'm using the Coco Vanilla Studio More Than Words collection to create some folded paper tulips. Um, it was just uh, I found a video on YouTube um, to kind of show me how to do it and just have adapted it a little bit um, to suit myself. So um, you can just see there how I'm folding a square of paper up into a triangle and then folding the edges in. And I've just used my corner rounder to round off the points a little. Um, I've made uh, six um, flowers all in all um, using three different types of patterned paper um, and I'm now using just some green um, <clears throat> craft paper to make some stalks so this is sort of this is um, it's uh, I think it's dove craft um, craft paper in 12 by 12 sheets and it's a paper quality it's not cardstock um, like the scrapbooking paper is um, scrapbooking cardstock so it's much thinner so it will roll and I've just cut it into strips started at the bottom corner and rolled diagonally until I've got myself um, a tube um, straw um, to make the stalk um, and I've also cut some leaf shapes or leaf shapes even from the same paper which I'm now using distress inks to add some colour to. I think there is uh, peeled paint and um, the one that's olive, I can't remember the name of it now, um, crushed olive, that's the one. Um, so I'm just using those colours and my blending tool to add some colour to the stalks and the leaf shapes. Now I just want to add a little bit of colour to my background. I've just got some plain white cardstock here and I'm using the uh, Distress Crayons to add a really soft uh, colour to the background. Um, I do add some more colour, um, you'll see it building up gradually um, as I work. I've got these duster brushes <clears throat> which are a really soft way of adding some colour I was worried that if I use my blending tool, I might add too much colour um, and then end up with it too heavy. Um, I've got tattered rose, um, scattered straw and peacock feathers um, distress crayons there. And I've just added a little water um, to um, apply a little bit of the colour wet onto the paper. And you can see there that it's adding a bit of a stronger colour in places so rather than brushing that on I'm just kind of dabbing um, sort of as you would with a stencil brush just to add little details um, of the stronger colour into that background. Um, you you don't see much of the background in the finished layout because um, there's a lot covering up um, but I just felt that it needed something before um, I added my photograph on my flowers. And I've used three colours that sort of coordinate with the colours of papers that I've used. And so now I'm just using some more of those green tones in the Distress Inks and I'm going to add some green along the bottom there as well. <clears throat> and uh, as you can see I've added some water straight away with those greens um, just to add a stronger colour along the bottom there. So I've got my photograph and I've um, cut some squares of patterned paper from um, a couple of those are not from the more than words. I think one of them was from Make-A-Wish even. They're all Coco Vanilla Studio though. Um, um, and the collections, the, the colours mix and match beautifully. Um, so I've added some background um, layers behind my photograph and I'm now just adding some extra colour to my background with some splatters of Heidi Swap colour spray, ink spray. 
And I think I've got butter and coral. Those two colours. Oh, and then that green one as well. Just um, adding that to the bottom there. Mopping up. I got my... Uh, this my Tim Holtz, Holtz even mixed media mat for Christmas um, and I'm loving using it but you can see the reflections of my lighting um, when I'm filming so I'm not quite sure I'm gonna have to play around with the positioning I think but it's a really dull day as well so I really need those lights um, but anyway so I've positioned my photograph stuck that down I've stuck my photograph on some foam to lift it slightly and now I'm using the silicon glue gel to add my paper flowers <clears throat> just positioning them and then I'm going to glue the, the uh, stalks on as well going to use the silicon glue gel for those two just fiddling around with the positioning trimming them down a little and one of the reasons I love using silicon glue gel and I think I've probably said it before in one of my other videos is because it doesn't dry straight away so you have the opportunity to move things around a little bit um, like I'm doing here just moving those flowers about so that I can get them positioned where I want them adding those stalks I'm just flattening the end of the stalk a little bit and tucking it underneath the flower and then just adding that third stalk there I've got a slightly uh, thinner one you just see me I was adding some more glue there because I snipped the end off um, which meant that the uh, the end started coming unraveled <clears throat> and then I'm obviously just going to do the same on the other side and I just thought this is I love this photograph it's of my niece several a few years ago now um, it was a, a photo shoot in a local park with a local photographer that um, my niece had done. So this is my great niece. So it's my niece's daughter. Um, and they had a family photo shoot just locally. Um, and I just think it's a really pretty photograph and uh, suited my paper folded flowers quite well. So just adding the final stalk to um, that other flower and then I'm also going to add so where that those um, middle stalks come I'm going to add a little bit so that it join you know so it's actually there's a join to the flower so that top flower doesn't look like it's just floating um, and is actually attached to a stalk and there again that's the beauty of the so they can glue gel, they're still not dry, so I can lift them about um, and uh, tuck things in. So then I'm going to tuck the leaves in. Um, that one's obviously far too big, so I'm just trimming that down. <clears throat> and I'm not actually applying any glue um, separately to the leaves. I'm just tucking them in um, under the stalks and the silicon glue gel that's there already will just hold them in place once it all dries. Just tucking them, fiddling around with where I want them. And then I've got my title. So this is a phrase, a foam phrase thicker from, again, it's a cocoa vanilla range. I think it was midnight. Um, and I'm going to create a longer title than that. I'm going to use some additional thickers to add um, more of a title but I just wanted to get that one in place and then pop the extra leaves on and then I've got some smaller puffy alphas which are uh, these ones are pink fresh studio I think or are they pink paisley I'll check they're from the um, just a little lovely collection And I always get the pink paisley and the pink fresh studio things muddled up. So just, I love these letters because they're sort of ombre effect and they're really pretty and they're a really nice size as well to just add in some extra um, text. I love mixed alpha titles. Um, so I've just got 
They're, those um, aquary ones are Dear Lizzie. So just fiddling around with the positioning of my title. I didn't, when I put the letters down, I didn't um, put them down securely so that I was able to move them around um, and position them once I'd got all of the letters on the sheet. And those ombre letters are Pink Fresh Studio. So I apologise for not being completely sure there, but I've just checked. I wanted to bring some black hearts in somewhere I thought because the the bloom is quite strong and I think it needed a little touch of black somewhere else to balance that out but those um, foam hearts from the thicker sheet were too big so I've left those from the moment and I've moved on to the ephemera pack from more than words um, just to get a couple of little details in above the photograph <clears throat> a couple of tabs there one of which is blank so I'm going to write um, I'll write her name on a couple of little butterflies to uh, have, you know just give bringing a little detail into that top third of the page but sticking with the rule of thirds um, and all of the all of the goings on is happening in those bottom two thirds of my page just sticking those down and the final touches now I found these much smaller hearts they're puffy hearts and these are from Amy Tangerine Shine On collection from a while ago um, and I bought two sheets actually they, I bought two packs because they're they're really lovely because they're really nice shape and they're quite small and there's lots of lovely colours so um, I'll use those a lot and then I've got some enamel dots from the More Than Words collection too which I'm just adding <clears throat> some final details in around my flowers and that's me done thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you here again soon bye <laughs>